we come to the end of Kipco British Champions Day, it's also the day that Asheen Murphy has been crowned champion jockey for the third time. Yes. Congratulations, Asheen. It's clearly been a, a tough season. What are your reflections on it? Uh, up and down. Royal Asker was amazing. Um, August was my best month, both statistically and numerically. Um, and I suppose I found ammunition harder and harder as we got to this day. But that's no fault of the trainers that are supporting me. You know, horses aren't machines and they flew through June, July and August. And then at some point they're not going to be flying as high. Um, so thanks to my agent for kind of eking out those winners over the last week. Uh, lots of them I wouldn't normally kind of probably be on. So he's done a great job and uh, William is a terrific rider. He has been riding exceptionally well. I don't think he's left any winners behind him of late. And, um, and when you're going for a championship, that's kind of the, the main aim, has to be to take every chance. Were you getting nervous this week with the, how William was riding and the winners that were coming up? Yeah, I found uh, the weekend very hard, Friday, Saturday. Um, I obviously knew that you know, he had five and six favourites both days. And uh, that Newmarket Dewhurst meeting is kind of where you really want to be riding well and, and getting winners on the board. And um, I, I didn't have many winning opportunities, but it goes like that sometimes. And um, I thought Sunday at Goodwood I had chances to ride winners and I left that behind me as well. <laughs> so uh, I had to start a fresh week and from Monday to Friday was going to be telling. And, um, and I think I made every one of those count, you know. I guess you're used to dealing with the pressure, aren't you? It's just sort of channeling it day, day in, day out for you. Sure. I, I actually found this week fine um, because I come to the conclusion that I can only do... I knew what I was going to be riding and that was it. Uh, but just the, the week before, I found quite hard, you know. Well, obviously it's been a tumultuous end of the season for you with your second failed breathalyzer test. Now, you've spoken very bravely about this and everyone around you has offered their support. Does this now, do you have time over the winter to be able to address this and sort of, you know, come to the next year with a, a clean slate and a fresh mind? Yeah, I think I have to decide whether, you know, the championship and the amount of pressure I put myself under um, is kind of good for me. I remember my father saying last year not to go for another championship, but then when you start off, right, you know, riding winners and the people I ride for, um, I have so many good horses now and the winners just flow then you try and keep flowing and um, I think it's it's fine as long as I don't allow it get to me but when it when um, when I do and you know people say or talk about it but there's no talking to me when I've ridden badly you know two or three days in a row um, I have to sort that out myself really. Mm. Mm. And so what does the rest of the year look like to you? Where Do you get some time off? Do you get a break? Where are you having to go next? Yeah, I've got some show jumpers to ride. Um, <laughs> I had a lesson with Ben Mayer last week or something. The footage won't be very good because I still have this ugly lip, but, um, but that was super fun. And I'm going to probably jump one or two of those on the tour in Portugal. And then um, Olympia is coming up, although I don't think it's at Olympia this year. So hopefully I'll be able to do one or two of the classes there. And uh, that's my passion. So I'm telling you, I actually didn't have any book rides on Monday. I don't have rides on Monday. And I'm thinking, how am I going to fill the time? Because um, when I'm not going for a championship and I don't want to go on and on, I actually enjoy those day in, day out uh, kind of rides. It's when they all count and it's like ticking off a box that um, it's, I don't know how to describe it, but it's not the same. And show jumping, is that your relaxation? Is that, does that make you well, switch off? I'm not very good, <laughs> not as good as I want to be, but uh, a lot of my friends ride at like a super high level and they help me out and let me ride some of their good horses. So it's like, um, that's a release and a buzz and you know, no one kind of expects me to be able to ride. So uh, when I am steering, <laughs> and, you know, at that discipline, when oh, I no, am I steering it. them around, um, it's, uh, it's kind of a different feeling. Okay. And racing-wise, when what's your next big assignment? Is the Breeders' Cup or before? Yeah, um, I probably ride to you know the end of this week. So so many maidens to run from Andrews uh, to Qatar to you know all my other trainers. Um, so and I love riding them and even galloping them. So I'll still do that. And then uh, Breeders' Cup and hopefully Hong Kong uh, in December. They've they haven't announced kind of the list of jockeys for that international meeting, but I think Ryan will be there and William will probably be there. So 
it'd be nice to team up with Japan again. I have some rides for them at Breeders' Cup and, um, yeah, th it'd be good. OK, well, I hope the show jumping is relaxing and that you enjoy yourself there. Many congratulations on your third title. Cheers, well Thank you. Thanks.